Hi there! In this seventh video I want to show you how to work with the healing brush tool in Photoshop. Uh, it's beginning to become an advanced topic I admit but I still think this is a basic tool that you should know how to use to touch up photos. Whether it's touching up somebody's skin or perhaps you got a little bit of dust or water on your lens that you want to touch up from the image or maybe you got a speck of dust on the digital sensor in your digital camera and you want to get rid of that in all of your images. Well, it's easy to do. You can use the healing brush. Uh, there's another tool called the clone tool and it, it works very similar to the healing brush and actually the healing brush kind of takes the place of both of them. It can actually do both things at once. So I'm going to just work with the healing brush for now. And to illustrate how it works, I've made a white image with a red dot. You can imagine the red dot is something that you just don't want. It should be white, but it's not for whatever reason. And you can use the healing brush tool. Well, what you do is you click the healing brush tool. And then you first have to select some part of the image that you want to be your source. This is where it's going to read the information and kind of like overlay it wherever you end up editing. It's a strange concept, but let me show you how it works. I'm going to select some place that's white, and I hold down the Alt button on the keyboard, and that changes the cursor style, and all I do is I click with my left mouse button, and I let go of Alt and that told the healing brush that I want to read the image from that location and now wherever I go in the image and I try to do edits it's gonna read back from that location that I set okay well now I want to get rid of this red dot and I want to overlay it with that white stuff that I previously kind of referenced to okay well that's not so bad I just uh, click over the red dot and I go over it and I make sure all of the red dot is gone. So there. Now notice how I'm going over that red dot but it's also showing me my source location. That's very important. That's where you're taking the information from and that little circle where I'm painting it kind of is where it's going to. Okay so I release the mouse button and now that red dot is gone. Hoo -hoo -hoo. You might say, ah, I could have done the same thing with a white paintbrush. And you're right, you could have. But that worked out very easily on a white, plain white background. If you could imagine your background was more textured, maybe it's a unique texture. If you painted a solid color, it's going to look obvious you won't have that nice texture unless if you really spend your time and make the texture yourself which is not nice the healing brush will actually keep the texture from the source location that you select and this works good for skin tones uh, doing skies I'll show you it's very nice let me get rid of this and here I have a picture of three beautiful woman in front of the White House and I mean it's a nice nice image but if we zoom in into a hundred percent sadly you start to notice a few imperfections um, for instance she has a little speck here I mean that's part of who she is but if you wanted to touch up the image to look a little bit better you could get rid of that uh, you can look, you can see she has a little stain on her shirt. The girl next to her has these little freckle type things on the arm. We can get rid of that if you want. And again, this is just ways to touch up the image. Okay, let's start with that little stain on the shirt. Notice how now, even though it's white, it's got texture to it. And so if I just painted white, it might not look so good but that's where the healing brush comes in. Now notice how my healing brush is a big brush size at the moment. It's way too big. 
I want it smaller. So I'm going to right click to open up the brush dialog. And I'm just going to set the diameter down. Maybe to about 20 pixels. Yeah, that'll work good. Okay. And now all I have to do is push down the Alt key and select some point where I want the picture to reference off of. So I'm going to just reference off right next door to it. So I push the Alt key. I click here. Release the Alt key. And now it's going to reference off of here. And so now I just paint over the speck on the shirt. Like I just did. Let go of the mouse button and voila. That stain is gone. It's better than any stain remover I ever use. And it was pretty simple. Pretty quick. And let's try the same thing for the skin. Now if I just paint it over this, it's still referencing that white part of the shirt. Which obviously isn't the same color or the same texture as her skin. So I have to reset a point to reference off of. So I'm going to push down the Alt button. And I'm going to try and go right above this little dot. So right about here. Click to reference it. Let go of the Alt button. And now I can just paint over this. And notice how it's referencing. See the little cross here. Right above where I selected previously. Let go of the mouse button. Instantly gone. Let me show you that un undo it. And redo it on and you can keep doing it basing basically using the same skin tone as a reference point and you can just touch up the skin however you like very simple okay let me close this out and let me just show you this a beautiful scene uh, I used a polarizing filter to get this nice color and contrast but sadly the filter had a little bit of dust on the front of it if I zoom in you can see it right here and if I move over you can see it over here it's like little dots it's not the end of the world but it's not professional looking so I want to get rid of that that's very easy to do I first off want to make my brush size bigger so I right click and I'm going to increase the diameter maybe up to 35 sure okay and I have to reference something so I'm just gonna reference the blue sky right next door to it right around here so I push down the alt key click release alt key and now I'm ready to paint over and I make sure I get rid of everything let go of the mouse button voila all gone and I do the same thing for each dot each time it's in a relatively different either texture or color it's sometimes nice to reset your reference point so I'm gonna reset it right next door paint over it and I can probably get away, away with this one and there I zoom out if I go back to the original image it has those specks in it that was on the front of the polarizing filter now if I preview all of my healing brushes they're gone it took a nice photo and I did a few edits to touch it up and now it looks more professional I think well this is just an introduction to the power that the healing brush has to offer but I think it's an important technique that you should be able to do touch up photos. Okay, I hope this was helpful.